All right, you guys, Cardi B's publicist, her name is Patience F, and she is now speaking out on behalf of Cardi B because, of course, Azalea Banks ain't going to do nothing but eat her up, okay, eat her alive. So Cardi B has actually disabled her Instagram, and her publicist, Patience F, is speaking out on her behalf um, on a level that can actually meet Azalea's type of banter, okay? She said, black people have become the racist and prejudicial people we hate y'all practice racial prejudice against one another and it's effing disgusting so i and then she went on to say i'm so over this woke sleep go back the f to sleep already you fake activists are the problem creating division amongst a race and a culture because of your own insecurities with the, your own color of your skin society chooses who they want to look at who they want to hear on the radio who succeeds is based on the number of people that support them no one gains notoriety in their own the people give it to them she went on to say you want to base the success of people on the tone of their skin kendrick scissor tiffany haddish did they win because they are black too let's argue this b is trying to utilize the advocacy of black women to bring another woman of color down she is manipulating black women to side with her because she understands the sensitivity of the subject y'all so woke but sis is standing for black women when in actuality she has only blashed a black woman and further to further her own agenda and garner attention for her stale music career. Sis is a whole Trump supporter looking for the support of the black community against a non-issue. You want to be an advocate? You want to advocate? Advocate for black men who are wrongfully jailed. Advocate for women who have no voice. Stop advocating against the success of a woman who has done nothing but live and speak her truth. Honey, you ain't never lie. Now, I now listen, listen, listen. I do and did think that Azalea Banks had some very factual things that she said. And when it came to the way that she argued her point across with Cardi B and Hennessy Carolina, she ate them up. Now, I also agree with this publicist uh, and some of the things that she has said, especially for the people down below in the comment section earlier who said that uh, Azalea Banks is a hater. Well, she is, but she also spoke facts as well. Um, she definitely has some type of jealousy about Cardi B's success, and she definitely tries to base that on uh, the color of Cardi B's skin. And she uses that as her artillery when she says things about Cardi B. So, yeah, she got a little bit of hate in there. So, either way, people were coming at her like, uh, this is a publicist. Actually, I think even Lala, I think it was Lala, could have been somebody else. I did see that Mr. Ray commented uh on this post and she was somebody was like this is a publicist yes honey this is the publicist and so she was being judged for being unprofessional and she said so i can't speak or have an opinion or speak on a topic that affects me because it's not professional i said what i said in her nini voice okay but look here's the thing under this post she also said that she's never been a conventional publicist she speaks her mind and she can still be great at her job and speak her mind at the same time okay now the reason why i didn't put a watermark on this is because i want people to hear this message and what she said um i want to know you guys this opinion do you think that azalea banks is advocating for rappers in her industry that are not paid as much attention to as other rappers or do you think that she is full advocating because she has some type of jealousy over cardi b's career and cardi b's instant success okay because all the rappers got to feel some way about that i don't care if you're a man or a female or a Nicki minaj or a remy ma you got to feel something all right guys leave it down below and make sure you guys like and subscribe